Thank you so much for volunteering to help with our Open Arms ministry. We're looking forward to seeing how God is going to work through this ministry. One thing we want to focus on as we move forward is how we share about this ministry both in person and on social media. Our goal is to be fully welcoming to our guests who are accessing our on-campus services. Something we found particularly helpful in addressing and tearing down the social stigma surrounding homelessness is adjusting the words that we use to describe our guests. We've noticed that something as simple as saying people experiencing homelessness or people who are temporarily without shelter instead of homeless people when describing those involved in the ministry helps foster a more welcoming environment and overall perspective. The purpose of wording like this is to highlight the individual as a person first and then mention their circumstance instead of just defining them by their current situation. In addition to the term homeless people, we also want to avoid using the phrase homeless problem because it makes our guests feel like a burden instead of God's children who we are honored and grateful to serve. We encourage you to try to implement this wording as much as possible as you talk about and participate in this ministry. We understand that it might sound a little bit long-winded at first to say people experiencing homelessness, but if anything, it is a great way to step into the mindset of how we intend to be serving in the coming months and how we view our guests as equals, approaching them without judgment or assumption, but with love, empathy, and compassion. I would challenge you each Saturday to pray, Lord, Teach me this morning through your children that we serve. We've attached some more information below detailing the various definitions of homelessness, what puts people at risk, along with some more statistics, many of which you already know. As a reminder, we encourage you to look at them. Again, we want to thank you in advance for taking time to serve others in our community. We look forward to seeing you at open arms and to what God is going to do. Please remember to cover this ministry and our guests in prayer in advance of each Saturday and in between Saturdays. God bless you.